Okay, so we're going to be talking about ratios. And why would I bother making a video just telling you we're going to talk about ratios? Because I do not want you to panic. They are very, very simple. Okay, so what? Are, why should we study ratios? Why should you even care about ratios? What impact do they have on the finance job apart from making you look very smart? Well, we're going to look at a bunch of different ratios. But first, I just want to let you know that everything in the financial statements, they just tell you exactly what the story is for you to actually understand what's going on it's not like reading any old book we're going to need help we're going to need clues as to figure out actually what's going on it's easy enough for you to be able to point to the balance sheet and say this company owes this amount of money this company has this amount of assets in value a dollar value i guess but if you don't actually know what story or the finance the financial statements are telling you then we're lost okay so to be able to actually put a firm rationale in our mind of whatever the story is telling us we need ratios they are our clues and they're very simple because we're going to take that same fundamental understanding of business that we've already developed and i'm basically alluding to the fact that we've simplified all the terms net income is just putting money in your pocket expenses is just money we spend to run the show interest i don't think we needed to explain everyone already understands interest is just money you pay for the ability to borrow money so we're going to take all those simplified understandings that we have and relate them and relate them i should say to ratios okay you'll be able to see we'll, we'll have asset management ratios seeing how productive we are with the things that we have financial management decisions obviously you can probably tell at this point i didn't uh, organize these in any order because really there's no order to ratios you you can make up your own ratios i want you to be so comfortable at the end of this um i guess the chunk of this series that you start making up your own ratios but they help you make um, financial uh, management decisions so should we borrow more well this ratio is giving me a clue that we're actually in trouble so maybe we shouldn't borrow anymore or maybe we need to actually start improving on this side of our balance sheet so we're going to set some goals and we're going to use ratios to give us clues as to our performance in our what our targets are all right so they help us make decisions financial leverage you want to actually understand um, how much it is we're borrowing and how much we're actually spending out of our own money yes we can just look at the numbers but for you to actually be able to compare more easily with um, I think with yourself period to period and with your competitors outside your company uh, you're going to want to use ratios it, it just makes your whole process of analysis a whole lot easier liquidity ratios let's in the worst case scenario if we cannot continue to operate how likely is it that we'll be able to pay our bills liquidity ratios are more concerned with uh, the bills that are upcoming within the year and even though this is not in order Looks like the universe is on my side. Long-term solvency ratios are just the ratios that give you clues as to your ability to take care of your bills that are going to be due after a year in case things just go wrong. Capital structure, really just where money's coming from. Again, that's going to have more to do with your financial. Whoa, where is this card? Your financial management decisions, okay? And they're all going to come from ratios, but I make this video to let you know that ratios are simple. Do not panic. A lot of the terms you see on TV, they come from ratios and we're going to break it down. We're going to break them down, I should say, so you just feel very natural about ratios. You understand what's going on. And I will give you a hint. A lot of the story, a lot of the clues that ratios are trying to tell you are in the title of the ratios. Okay? Equity multiplier, one of my probably one of my favorite titles for a ratio. We'll talk about why it's very easy for you to naturally understand what's going on here. And I just I literally just picked this card up. Uh, I can pick up any other card that has a ratio on it. All right, let's just pick up another one. And I'm not going to pick up any more because I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> uh, sales over total assets. That's your total assets turnover ratio. We are going to talk about the most natural way for you to understand what's going on here. So every time you hear total assets turnover, you realize, all right, turnover means this. We are looking for turnover and we're talking about total assets well this is what i have to think about it, and you'll be surprised how easy it is okay so ratios i make this video to tell you do not panic and get ready to just understand business a whole lot more organically